my name is Rebecca Miner. I um, am a Biosphere 2 technician and I work for Greg Baron Gafford who is one of the research faculty at Biosphere 2 and he in collaboration with the other research faculty members are collaborating for this project to um, look at soil science and ecophysiology of some of the plants and it's also as a preliminary um, experiment to looking at the LEO project once we put vegetation in the LEO project. So this is all a part of that large landscape observatory. We're reinstalling a project that we started with a couple months ago. I ran into some hiccups with the sensors and have since experimented with them and gotten past those hiccups and so now we're ready to go again. We're picking it up and um, putting the sensors back in just in time to use the rest of the growing season this year before the days get too short in the fall and it makes the plants react differently. When you ask a question, you don't always know what the answer is, but if you set it up and you instrument it right and you have some predictions about what you think is gonna happen, then no matter what you find, you've learned something about it. Then we need to understand what's going on with the roots what's going on with the soil, and what's going on with the leaves of the plant as it sucks in that CO2. So the whole cycling, and it's not only pulling in CO2, of course, it's also pulling in um, water through its roots and letting the water out through its leaves. So it's going the other way. Um, but the plants are really instrumental in cycling CO2 and water through uh, these ecosystems. The soil does it also. Um, so having the two together, we can see how the two interact. We are collaborating with all of the V2 research faculty, and they come from different backgrounds, you know, soil or plants or isotopes in the atmosphere. And, and to bring all of those expertise and have a unifying question and a unifying set of data that can um, inform all of those different types of understanding of the world is that's what's really exciting about a project like this is that you're, you know, no matter what your background is, we're speaking a common language of science and, you know, working together to be sure that we get information that answers those questions that we have.